today I wanted to do a New Year's tag for you. I found this tag on a website while I was looking up um, stuff for more videos coming up. And I found this one and thought that it was really interesting and thought I would do it for you guys. So let's get started. The first question of the New Year's tag is if you could look back on one memory oops, from last year that you wish you could re relive, what would it be? So this year was kind of a challenging year for me. I was um, going through eighth grade, getting ready to go in high school, and it was just really hard to grow up and kind of find myself and feel confident. And so I think that I would go back to a trip when we went up to Logan, Utah and hung out with our family because I was really sassy and not being nice. And so if I could relive that and like change the way I acted in that situation, I think that I'd go back to that. Or like, this is really recent, but our Christmas this year was so much fun, and I would love to go back and relive that because we just got to be with our family and hang out, and it was just a ton of fun. Oh, I have this one piece of hair just chilling out here. It's whatever. Question number two is what was one New Year's resolution that you accomplished? And I don't remember any of my resolutions from last year, and so we're just going to move on. Question number three is three words to describe last year. Last year was challenging, crazy, and an adventure, I would have to say. Um, it was challenging because, like I said earlier, I was just finding myself going through a lot of, like, personal growth and self-body image type things. Um, it was fun because we did a ton of things as a family and got to hang out, and I'm sure that if I look back on old pictures, I'll see old memories and things like that from this year. And then it was an adventure because it was a learning experience and I feel like the adventure part kind of goes in with the two things I said before. Question number four says best music related creation slash inspiration last year by an artist in your opinion. Let's look at my Spotify playlist. So I'm actually going to say two songs for this one. The first one would probably be Drag Me Down by um, One Direction. If you guys haven't heard it, I suggest that you go and listen to it. If you want to go, you can follow my Spotify playlist. It's this current hits playlist. And listen to all the music that I'm listening to. You can follow me there. I'll leave a link down below. So that song, because this year I feel like I wasn't necessarily being drugged down by others, but I just kept beating myself up. So that is one song that I really like. And then also, I'll show you by Justin Bieber. It's just a really good song. It doesn't really have anything to do with my life or my situation. But I just think it's a really good motivational song. You guys, again, should go and check it out. So go and follow me on Spotify down below. Question number five is, what is something you are looking forward to this coming year? Something that I'm looking forward to is kind of becoming a new me. This... Video is turning out to be a lot more personal than I was expecting, but this year I have set a lot of New Year's resolutions for myself to just kind of reinvent who I am. I want this to be the year that I look back on in the future and I'm like, that was the best year of my life and I made so many life changes, set so many goals for myself and I accomplished them and I killed it and I am just a totally new person. Number six is what did last year teach you? These are such good questions for like my emotions right now. <laughs> um, but last year taught me a lot about the world and about how worldly influences can bring you down. I really did not want this, I wasn't expecting this video to be so um, about like my trials and challenges from this past year, but I haven't really like opened up to a ton of people about what happened and what I've gone through. But um, this year definitely taught me like self-love and how media, like social media, friends, family members, everything can just really have an impact on your life and your outlook on different things. I've kind of said earlier that I have had a lot of like self body image issues, just not having very much confidence and feeling really bad about myself because I was seeing all these cute pictures of all these other people on Instagram and Pinterest and Twitter and Snapchat and all these people and not feeling like I was worth anything and I really can say that that doesn't matter anymore. I just want you guys to know if you're going through any of those things that you can get through it and that we can get through it together. I think that every girl and even guys 
everyone in this world has an insecurity. Like, you're not the only one. You're not alone. I definitely am here to say that you are not alone, I swear. And if you just need a friend, just come here. Hugs. Hugs. Question number seven is what was your most worn clothing item of last year? My most worn clothing item was this shirt that I have. It's like gray and it says relax on it and the relax is like in like palm trees. And then the jeans that I'm wearing right now, they're just these dark wash jeans from Charlotte Russe. Those are my most worn clothing items. Question number eight is if you had to sum up your year in one word, what would it be? I would say that this year has been a learning experience for sure. Just going back to the things I've been talking about, really working to find myself and finding my confidence. Number nine, what are you hoping for more of this coming year? This year, I really want to work on being more confident and influencing other girls that confidence is key, that they can get through life and everything that they have a friend right here I will be your friend we are best friends and that you are not alone in those in those insecurities there's so many people out there who have insecurities too and they love you so so much there's so many people out there who would love to be your friend and would love to hang out with you and are probably feeling the same exact way that you're feeling this year I felt really lonely at times really um friendless and just down on myself and then I found other people who were feeling the exact same way and I was able to find a ton of friends through that. Number 10 is what are you hoping for less of this coming year? So I kind of said this earlier uh, like in one of the first like three questions I think about how I'd like to go back to that trip that we took to Logan, Utah because I was being sassy and stuff. So this year I would really like to work on having less contention and also um like working harder with my like family relationships. I feel like I'm making my life sound really hard and like challenging, but these are just like what's 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 coming to my brain right now. Number 11 is what is the best book you read last year? I think last year This is crazy. I didn't realize how long a year was. I don't really read a lot, so I don't really like a lot of books. I mean, I read if I need to read for like school or something, but nothing really catches my interest but I read four it's like part of the Divergent series to like learn more about um, Tobias I think that's his name pretty sure and I really liked it I didn't know everything that happened in Divergent and so it didn't really all like make that much sense to me but I thought it was so good well written and I, I, I just thought it was the greatest the last question is number 12 what is your New Year's resolution for this upcoming year my New Year's resolution is to be an influencer. I really want to start getting in to consistently making videos. I know I say that I'm going to upload all the time and I never get around to it. So my goal is to consistently make videos and to start a blog. If you want to go and check out my blog, I'll leave a link down below. Also, I'm going to start doing weekly vlogs with my family. I'll also leave that link down below. And I just really want to make this channel worth something and find a connection between me and the viewers to really help build you guys up and make you feel good about yourselves since I have been through what you are probably going through. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. I hope that it helped inspire you to set your New Year's resolutions for the new year and to reflect back on how last year went. Leave a comment down below letting me know what your New Year's resolution is for this year. Also, you can hit the subscribe button, check out my vlog channel, follow me on Instagram, Snapchat, and Twitter, and I'll see you guys next week. Bye. Um, so drag me down. Ow, I just cut my finger on this Christmas tree. Still haven't taken down our Christmas decorations. No shame. I think that I would say learning experience.